Traffic is a major problem in our daily lives. It can be frustrating, time-consuming, and even dangerous. But with the help of traffic lights, we can manage and control flow of vehicles on the road, improving safety and reducing congestion. Have you ever wondered how traffic lights manage to control the flow of vehicles on the road, especially in busy cities like Quezon City? Well, the answer lies in the application of graph theory. Graph theory. Graph theory is a branch of mathematics that deals with the study of graphs in simple terms. A graph is a set of vertices or nodes connected by edges. And in real life, we can use graph theory to solve many problems, including traffic management. In the case of traffic lights, the intersections can be represented as vertices and the roads connecting them can be represented as edges. In order to efficiently manage the flow of traffic, it is essential to use a technique called graph coloring. Graph coloring is a process of assigning colors to each vertex of a graph in such a way that no two adjacent vertices have the same color. This ensures that the traffic flows smoothly and there are no collisions at the intersections. If two adjacent vertices shave the same color, then it means that the traffic flow at those intersections is not coordinated and it can result in traffic jams and delays. Let's take a look at an example. The busy intersection at C5 Road Quezon City is a perfect example of how graph theory can be applied in real life. The intersection has several roads connecting to it, and it is essential to manage the traffic flow to avoid accidents and traffic jams. By using graph theory and graph coloring, traffic engineers can design an efficient traffic light system that ensures the smooth flow of traffic. Each intersection is assigned a unique color, and the traffic lights are timed accordingly. As the cars approach the intersection, the traffic lights change from green to yellow and then to red, giving each direction of traffic the required time to pass through the intersection safely. The traffic lights are timed in such a way that they work together to ensure that the flow of traffic is smooth and efficient. Thanks to the application of graph theory, the traffic lights on C5 Road Quezon City are able to keep traffic moving efficiently, reducing congestion and minimizing accidents. But the work doesn't stop there. Traffic conditions are constantly changing. And the algorithms controlling the traffic lights need to be updated in real time. This is where data comes in. By collecting data on traffic flow and adjusting the timings of the traffic lights accordingly, we can ensure that traffic keeps moving smoothly and safely. So the next time you find yourself stuck in traffic, remember that graph theory is hard at work behind the scenes. Keeping the traffic lights on C5 Road Quezon City and other roads around the world running smoothly. Thank you for watching.